ever since refocusing my life to a more intentional lifestyle to things that I really value, I realized that we harbor a lot of crap, a ton of clutter. And today I'm just gonna go over nine different types of clutter that you might be harboring in your life and you didn't even realize it. The first one is aspirational clutter. So this is tied to your fantasy self, the person that you think that you are, at least like in your mind that is. So you're about to start working out. So you buy a whole bunch of workout equipment, a whole bunch of workout clothes, but you don't truly commit to it. So things just kind of pile up. Like for me, I said I was gonna start doing boxing. So I bought a boxing bag, bought a whole bunch of like boxing gloves. And for the first maybe a couple of months, I was really into it, but then I just dropped it. And now things have just been sitting in the basement for like two to three years now. That's aspirational clutter. You need to decide, are you gonna commit to your aspirations or you need to just donate it, give it away, but just get rid of the crap. The next one is digital clutter. This is all the digital media that's stuck on your hard drives, on your computers, on your cell phones. There's so many apps that we do not use, me included. I've seen inboxes of people that have like thousands of unread emails and also unread messages, voice messages. Just clear it all out. The next one is emotional clutter. These are all the emotions that are tying down your mind, your heart, and just your life in general the guilt and regret about certain situations that you wish you did differently, but honestly, you cannot do anything about them now, but just learn from them. All this emotional clutter is just eroding your energy. So what you need to do is really address the situation within yourself and then also use the F word, which is forgive. You need to forgive yourself about what happened and just move on. Relational clutter. These are the relationships, both platonic and romantic, that we have no business being part of because they're really changing us into people that we really do not enjoy. We have to realize that the people that we have around us have more effect on us than we ever can imagine. Schedule clutter. This is when we don't really understand that there's 24 hours within a day. And within those 24 hours, you need to sleep. And so basically we try and plug our days and then they become so jam packed and then we take what we did today that we didn't finish and bring it to the next day. And then we try and do that. And then we still have leftovers from that day. So then we bring it to the next day and the cycle continues on and on and on. This means that you need to prioritize. This type of clutter means you need to really truly prioritize. You cannot do it all. Even though we wanna do it all, we cannot do it all. Bargain clutter. This is the clutter that we think that we got a steal on, that we got a real good deal on. Instead of that lotion being just $6, we're gonna get two for $8. But then we never really finish it before the next bargain comes up. So now we have more clutter. And then the next bargain comes. And so then we have another clutter because we wanna make sure that we get the best deal on this because we think that we're saving money. But in all honesty, you do not use half of the crap that you really buy in that bargain. So is it really a bargain? Not really, it's just clutter. You can either sell it, donate it, or what you can do is you can hold on to it, make sure you don't add any more crap and basically use it all up because eventually it will run dry. I spent too much money clutter. This is similar to bargain clutter, but this is when we spent a lot of money on an item so we can't think of getting rid of it. What you need to do is really evaluate do you really care about that item or it's just the money that's behind it? Because if you think about it, you haven't really gotten your use out of the item because it's just been sitting there in your house collecting dust. So you need to sell it or maybe just donate it to somebody that you really, really care about or re-gift it to somebody. But you need to get rid of that shit, like seriously. This is the just in case items. Let me just give you an example. So for my household, we make sure that we buy enough toiletries just in case that we run out when we're in the bathroom. We don't want that to happen. But for us, it makes sense because we have so many individuals, but if we're a smaller family, it wouldn't make any sense whatsoever. So you need to really get rid of it. Either sell it, donate it, just get rid of it. Cause in essence, you don't really need it cause you're gonna buy more and it's just gonna keep on stockpiling. So get rid of it. Behavior clutter. This is the clutter that accumulates because of our habits. Maybe you're in a rush to go to work, so you just throw your clothes on the bed. But then that happens the next day, and then the next day. And then you come back, take a step back, and then you're like, what the heck just happened? Why do I have this ginormous hill of clothes? What you really need to do is take a step back and really analyze your habits. What are you doing that's really not conducive to what you really wanna be doing? You want a cleaner environment, so basically, 
you need to start picking up after yourself. All right, everybody, that's all I have for this video. Thank you so much for watching. And you already know the routine. If your fingers are feeling extra clicky, definitely like this video. And if your heart is telling you to subscribe, then go ahead and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.